about time I got back on the bike. Got to change these pads over first though. I've been meaning to change these pads for the last three months. Yeah. The pads were like close to being dead. Not like dangerous or anything, just close. Oh, and thank you everybody who noticed my new lights. I bought some new fancy lights and I didn't think anyone would notice, but quite a few of you did. Thank you. Francis from the future here. I managed to pull my microphone cable out when I was faffing around, waiting for Harry, fiddling with things in my pocket. Normally when a microphone is disconnected, you still get the onboard audio from the camera. So you can usually still salvage a video and still hear what's going on. Only one end of the cable came out though. So there's just this noise instead of audio. Basically it's a big <sighs> Some funny stuff still happened on the ride though, so I'll take you through it as best I can. Here's me explaining that this is my first proper ride back after a few days, trying to rest my body after the Everesting I did last week. Not really sure why I chose to ride with Harry, who's rapid, and his easy pace is my fast pace, so all in all, a bad idea. I think this is one of the best roads in Surrey. Is Hands it up down. there with, uh, is it up there with Denby's? Where you're going Denby's tomorrow? doesn't compare. This Man. is, look at the look at it. Better than Denby's. Better than Denby's, 100%. Denby's, you got trains and shit going past and you can't do this on Denby's. Whoa. Harry turned up on his gravel bike in an effort to not hurt me too much. So did some off-roading when he had the chance. There was lots of chances around Pease Lake. It's pretty much Surrey's mountain biking mecca. I realized when I went, you can do this. It was not the turning that I thought it was. So I was like, I don't know where this is taking me. <laughs> right, you were gone for 10 minutes. <laughs> we then stopped, realized it was 18 degrees centigrade and it's almost October. Temporarily nice, but concluded that probably shouldn't be happening and how scary climate change was. Harry reminded me that David Attenborough, national treasure, an absolute boss, had just joined Instagram to impart some of his knowledge on a younger audience. Give him a follow if you haven't already. We then headed home, Harry did some more off-roading and got lost. Turns out it was mountain bike trail and unsuitable for his wannabe gravel bike. Climbed up one last 20% hill and made it back to Giro for a coffee and the brilliant discovery that my microphone was unplugged the whole day. You're an idiot. I'm an idiot. <laughs> you viewers already know, I messed up the microphone. I was fiddling around with my pockets in Kingston and I pulled out the cable because the cable was still plugged in the other side in the camera. I lost all the audio, it's just this noise. So yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video with the uh, commentary over the top. You just saved the dog. Mate, I need I content, just, I quick, to, ex to explain what happened. A we dog. were just sat here having our coffee and um, we noticed a dog across the road and Harry saved its life. I had half of a burrito which I used to lay a trail so the dog was running in the road. I said, come here, doggy, you little chicken. And, um, and then, Is that what you said? <laughs> no. And then the dog eventually came and I saved the dog. Burritos save lives. So basically, that's the moral of the story. Did the people give you a reward? No. I should have asked. A new burrito, at least. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give a burrito. A day of positives and negatives. Uh, we lost. I lost the audio, but we gained a hero. You're a hero. We gained a dog's life. Go save the dog's life. Well, the dog's life was already, already there. Yeah. Okay. True. The dog was fine. Do you want to do the ride again in reverse, and we'll film all the stuff that we just filmed? Not today. Maybe. <laughs> Not today. Not today. I made such a good video. It was really, really good. There was loads of funny stuff that happened, and interesting, important topics. And my microphone was unplugged for the whole thing. Um, I thought you said you had an inbuilt microphone. I do, but because this wire is just here. Because yeah. this wire was plugged in still, but that bit of the wire wasn't. So you haven't got anything, just this section. Currently, if you stand on a can and there's, there's no indents in the can, it will take your weight. Oh my god, no. There's a hold on to you. Just... 
Oh, <laughs> maybe not. So a nice, easy spin back on my own. Let's be honest, riding with Harry is never gonna be an easy day. Even if it's advertised as so, he's just rapid. And he just ordered a set of carbon wheels. He's gonna get him faster. Losing the audio in today's video was kind of unfortunate, but not the end of the world. I could have got really wound up about it, thrown away all the footage and not made a video at all. But I think it's so important to look at these things from a different perspective, see if you can salvage the situation and see it as an opportunity to do something different. And I hope that came across in the edit of today's video, a style that I'd never normally go for. All in all, a good day. Rode my bike in the sun, made a fun video. I'm gonna sign off here. Thank you as always for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming up this week, including the long awaited Villia that went to the wrong place and isn't going to Newcastle. It is coming down here now, so that should be arriving tomorrow. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.